In this video, I want to show you a few techniques in Emacs org mode that can help make you more efficient. These techniques generally involve collapsing sections or code blocks. So let's get started. Here's a repo, and I want to show you how powerful it can be to work with these collapsed sections. So for example, I will start with this section. I'm going to grab a code block and I'm navigating. Already we know the very nice, powerful techniques for navigating here. So let's get a code block. Here's a decent code block. It's big, it's ugly. So I collapse it first. I do control A to get to the beginning of the line. Control space to set a mark. Control E to get to the end of the line. And then the meta key and then W that copies it. If I did control W, it would cut. And so now I'll come down here to the end and I'll make a new demo section. And let's have a subsection. And now control Y to yank. And I have my code block that's been yanked or pasted in here. So again, if I collapse the code block, it's easy to just come and then select it all and then copy it. And then I could, of course, do the same thing. I can do entire sections or subsections as I see fit. So let's do this demo section. Collapse it again. Get to the beginning of the line. Set mark. Go to the end. Copy. And then I can go below and then yank. And then you see I have a second demo section that's just like the previous one. So there's that. You can copy and paste. Um, okay, I'm going to get rid of these demo sections. So control A to get to the beginning of the line and then control K to delete it. So that's another way to quickly get rid of it. So let's collapse this section so we can do the same thing. Now I'll show you a couple of techniques for navigating and searching. So let's I know that I have in this development section some pretty large code blocks, so let's look at one of those. For example, the main calculator file. Uh, and you notice as we scroll through here, there are various functions. Here's a class. Let's see something that we might want to search for. Okay, so I'll go back up to the top of this and I'll collapse the code block. And then I can do control S for search. See, there's the, I put def, there's the first instance of def in the file. So now I could maybe add space and then get, there's the first get potential. And then see there, it finds the get potential energy function. Uh, it also shows you here what line we're on. We're on 1726. I think if I hit triple escape, it gets out of the search and then it collapses the code block again. So again, if I do that, I'll control S, def, space, get, potential energy. Instead of escaping out of it, I'll hit down arrow and instead of collapsing it, it leaves my cursor here and then I can make my changes. One thing that sometimes we run into when we run these code blocks is it tells us that you know we have this code block and there's an error in some line. It, maybe it's line 35 of the code block. You could go through and count all of them, but say if I know this is line 500, I can put my cursor here or wherever, and I can then say, go to line 535. And there's tab completion, so there's go to line and then put five. 35, and it takes me right there. Uh, the other thing I'll point out, if I have my code block collapsed, you know this is 500, and I type go to line tab completion 535, it just says I'm in the code block, it doesn't expand the code block. 
But if I expand the code block and then go to line 535, well, we already saw what happened there. All right, and then uh, again, if we are lost in our document and we don't know really where we are, we can hit uh, shift tab and then it's it goes to overview and we have we've collapsed everything okay so I hope that gives you a few ideas about navigating a Emacs org mode document